In this video, we're going to take a look at the ProLogix sensor voltage probe. Let's see what you get in the box. Okay, so inside the box, we get a power cable with the remote ground. So this end here connects into the voltage probe to give us a power supply. And then we also get the probe itself. So the attachments are the four millimeter banana type connections and you can also use the ProLogix sensor test kit with this tool. If you want to know more about sensor diagnostics then make sure you check out the Mechanic Mindset Diagnostic Coach. For just $10 a month we have courses covering a range of diagnostic topics and we take you from the absolute basics up to the advanced diagnostic techniques used by the world's best master technicians. We've got courses on things like electrical diagnostics, sensor testing, canvas and networks, and I'm just filming lessons now for the new petrol engine management systems course. So make sure you sign up for the free trial so you can get a taste of what we're doing inside Mechanic Mindset. To get started, you just connect the positive and negative power supply cables up to a battery. The unit automatically powers on. The sensor voltage probe has three main functions. The first being a sensor reference voltage simulation. Now it can simulate any voltage between 0.2 and seven volts in 0.1 volt increments. The other feature that this has is a voltmeter mode, so it can check for voltages and grounds, and also an ohmmeter mode to check resistance. Uh, the unit is compatible with both 12 volt and 24 volt systems. It comes with a seven amp short circuit thermal protection fuse, which resets itself when triggered, and it can also output a maximum current of either 150 milliamps or three amps, depending which setting you choose. This makes it safe to use on the sensitive engine control unit electronic circuits. So let's have a look at how you use it. Okay then, first of all, I'm gonna show you the voltmeter mode. So if we press the function button there, we get the list for voltmeter, ohmmeter, and simulator. So if we just press okay on the voltmeter mode, we can get this voltage display up here. So if we then go on the battery voltage, we get a red light and a high tone with the voltage display on the screen. If we then go onto a ground or zero volts, we get the green LED light up with a lower tone and the voltage display on the screen there. When we check any other voltages like this 4.9 volt power supply, uh, we don't get any lights or tone, but the display indicates what voltage we're measuring. The other setting that we've got on here is the ohm meter mode. So going back to the function button, we can press down to select ohm meter and then we get the ohm meter display. And if we just join these two wires together here, we should be able to see that we get zero ohm. So that's the remote ground lead on the bottom there connected directly to the top of the probe. It will also measure resistances directly to ground. So if we put that probe lead onto the ground there, you can see that we're measuring zero ohms. So to demonstrate the reference voltage simulation, we've gone onto the inlet camshaft sensor here, and we've got the red for the power supply, the yellow for the signal, and the black there is the ground. So as we can see at the minute, we've got no fault codes in the engine control module. So let's disconnect this power supply here and see what we've got. So we've just cycled the ignition a few times there to get the code to store. So if we read the codes now, you can see there that we've got an inlet camshaft sensor fault in the DME, so the engine control module. So what I'm gonna do is connect the sensor probe up to the power supply for the sensor. So now this probe is connected directly to the power supply of the sensor because the sensor isn't receiving the supply from the plug, we've disconnected it. We're going to select simulation mode and I'm gonna press okay to make sure that we're on the toggle on and off setting. So now we click okay and you can see now that the voltage supply is off let's ramp up that voltage to five volts i uh, know that this sensor power supply is five volts so ideally you need to have an idea of what 
um, reference power supply the sensor is receiving. If you're not sure, it's a good idea to maybe check a few of the other sensors and they're more than likely gonna be the same. So it's just one to be careful of because some sensors are 12 volts. So now we've got the five volts going up to there. I'm gonna click on. So now that's supplying five volts to that sensor. Okay, so this fault code is currently present. Let's erase it. And we can see now that no trouble codes are detected. Let's just cycle that ignition again to make sure that we've fixed the fault. Okay, so we cycled the ignition a few times there now and on reading the fault codes again, we can see that the code is no longer there. So the sensor voltage probe has actually done a great job in supplying a power supply to this sensor where we've been able to erase the fault codes, retest the car and confirm that the sensor is actually okay. So the next job now is to trace that wire back to find out where the fault is and we should then be able to confirm whether we have a control unit fault or a wiring limb fault.